here's the uh, installation for the Garn server cigarette. Uh, so first off you'll want to make sure that you have the VR Labs uh, Avatars 3.0 manager installed um, for testing it in Unity rather than in game. You'll want to have the Lyoma emulator and uh, if you have an A pose model like this one here, you will want to have the pumpkin tools so you can reset it to the T pose. Um, of course, your normal avatar things as well the SDK, dynamic bones, shaders, etc. The avatar itself. Um, so, first off, I'll just take this avatar, uh, unpack it completely. Uh, the first thing I want to do is make sure that it is. In fact, in T-Pose, so I have pumpkin tools here, drag and drop it in, reset the pose to a T-Pose, and that should be all good to start working on. So first we take the prefab from the current server cigarette folder, place it directly on the model itself in the hierarchy, and we will immediately unpack the prefab, prefab completely. Then we'll find SIG, right hand, index finger, and middle finger. Uh, these are the anchor points, and we'll just drag them out. And now we'll place them by the hand, up over here. So I'm going to use this little box to make sure I'm front facing all the graphic, and set myself focused by clicking on the avatar and pressing F on the avatar. Uh, holding down shift, I'll make sure I have both of these points selected. I'll turn off the gizmos just to make it a little easier to see and roughly move them up. Now I'll zoom in a little bit more. Not so much I can't see the hand. Actually I'll focus on these two points. Oh, nearly too close. So we'll take the index finger, place it over by the index finger, middle finger, and the middle finger. Swap around to the front, and those are about right. You want them about between the first two knuckles, sort of thing. Um, that's just best for the cigarette placement um, on your hand. Next, you will want to extend down your avatar's hierarchy until you get to the right wrist. Um, then you'll want to drop down your index finger and middle finger by one. Then you'll take your index finger, drop it on that bone right there, the second one down. Um, and then, oh no, what am I doing? Middle finger, I want to drop it on the middle finger one as well. Then what we can do is go down to cigarette with holder, sorry, cigarette container, and click zero, which will move the cigarette holder up to it. Um, if you find that the sort of angling of it is a little bit off, a little bit funny, uh, you can make sure to unlock the parent constraint. Uh, pressing E or the rotate button, and then you can just rotate it a little bit like that. Uh, and then just activate. Uh, if you need to, you can always uh, come down to these two little points, make some little minor adjustments, make sure that we're lined up. Oh, not the finger itself, the... there you go just to make sure there's not too much clipping. Um, and verify that it's all activated and you're good to go. Uh, so that is the physical setup done for the system. Now you'll want to pull up AV3 Manager, which is found up on your top bar by going to VR Labs, Avatars 3.0 Manager. And you will want to drag your model in you want to go to the FX layer, add an animated emerge, and you can either go into your gun cigarette folder 3.0, or you can just click on this little ball here. Either way, you're going to be adding sig FX merge, and then merge on current. You want to make sure that all of the parameters are syncable, or synced. Next, you'll head over to the parameters tab, and you'll notice that they're here already, but they're not quite set up perfectly. So you'll grab the SIG parameters, and you'll merge it straight on there. And that'll instantly put all of those settings right on there. 
So now what you can do is you can go to Tools, enable the Lyuma emulator, and press play. So I'll click on the model itself. Where is it? Put it into T pose. And again, I've, I forgot to do something, which is setting up the sub menu. So you want to go to your main menu, set up a new control, name it cigarette, set it as a sub menu, and set it pointing to sick menu. Always one thing I forget to do. Now again, put it into depot's cigarette. You'll notice the cigarette comes out. Cool, that's working. Uh, nothing goes funny if I turn on active smoking. Uh, no holder, works fine. Ring holder. This is where there can be some issues, but it appears as though it's fine. Uh, not quite fine this time. So there's two ways that you can kind of fix this. You can fix it by either um, taking these two and sort of jimmying them around a little bit, but that'll affect your position for the rest of the system. Um, if you're liking where everything is, you can, um, if you don't like where everything is, you can move it like that. But I find a much more clean approach is instead uh, clicking on your avatar. This takes a little bit more work, but it is worth it. Um, making sure that the animator controller is set to cigarette. Then open up your animation window, go to your cigarette ring holder. Then you can just hit record. Um, straight away. Um, make sure we're lined up nicely. And you want to click on cigarette with holder. And we'll just move it over here a little bit. Drop it down. Maybe pull it to the side a little bit. There we go. Looking nice. So what we can do is you'll see cigarette with holder position. You'll highlight and copy that keyframe, then along the top move the scrubber and control paste. Next we'll go to sig ring holder smoking active. Uh, instantly copy and paste again. Well, not copy, sorry, just paste. Um, then we'll head over to these two keyframes right at the end. And just paste it again. That'll set the position correctly. Uh, now everything should be working fine. Uh, just to make sure, we'll also turn off cigarette with holder. You want to make sure that you do this before every time that you upload the avatar. Um, put it into play mode. Select the avatar, T-pose. Pull out that avatar. And ring holder. Now it works perfectly through all the different gestures. And same goes for every other type that you have here. Perfect. And yeah, just make sure, oh my god, just make sure that you have that turned off before you upload every single time and you should be good to go. Uh, if you don't have Poyomi Pro as well, just as a side point, you can also find in this folder here, there'll be a Poemi Pro and a Poemi Tune material. You can just drop the Poemi Tune material onto it, um, just like so. Other than that, should be good to go. Thank you very much for purchasing the asset.